Welcome to my 2017 film retrospective. We got another long list of honorable mentions this year, so I'm just gonna throw it up right there because I'm tired of reading them off. All awesome movies, check them all out. If you haven't seen them, see them. If you disagree with me, find me on Twitter and at me because I would love to discuss it. My favorite bad movie from this year is Transformers The Last Night. This is a special movie to me because the first Transformers movie came out in 2007. One of the first movies I saw in theaters without my parents. I saw it with my younger brother. We fell in love with it. We bought it on DVD and it was like the, one of the first DVDs we owned and whenever we first got a portable DVD player to watch movies in the car, we watched it all the time. So that's where I kind of fell in love with the Transformers movies. Had no love for the original Transformers, just didn't grow up with them. And then got really disillusioned with the series because I loved them for how ridiculous and silly and goofy they were. I never really had an idea and when I, as I got a little bit older I realized how bad they were but I still loved them. Transformers 3 and 4 despise those movies because they're not even fun. They're so long and boring and over the top. Uh, with uh, trying to be serious movies, I just couldn't stand them. And I didn't see this movie for, for like a year or two after it came out. I, I read some reviews and I heard about how dumb it was and just and, and just the things that were in it. I was like, well, okay, I gotta give it a chance. Watched it. This goes back to the ridiculous of that first movie, but it amps it up so much. I love, love this movie because, you know, the, the changing aspect ratios and the bad characters and the sexism and the, the bad coloring and the bad filmmaking and all these are bad things. I'm not saying this is a good movie that I endorse, but I enjoy the ever-living crap out of this movie. And if you like bad, big, dumb Hollywood movies, if you like the Transformers movies for, for what they are, the Bay Formers movies, you gotta check it out. I think a lot of people missed it because it was by far the least highest grossing uh, of the Transformers movies, but I think you may have missed something if you didn't get a chance to see it. Anyways, my overlooked recommendation for this year, I've actually got two, one being Valerian in the City of a Thousand Planets. This is not a particularly good film. I actually kind of considered it for good bad film because the two leads are so bad and so poorly written, but the world of this movie and the, the, the effects and the, the creative design is so absolutely incredible. I could not fault this movie. I had to make sure you see it because if you're into science fiction, um, you're more fantasy science fiction for sure, this is not like serious science fiction, but like something like Star Wars or in that kind of realm of like Guardians of the Galaxy, just all the, the, the props and the characters and the design, the world, it all feels so real. But I really enjoyed this film for what it is, and I think it got really overlooked, and I would recommend it just for that alone. My other overlooked recommendation is Free Fire, a movie that I, it's almost the exact opposite. It's so small, so self-contained, it's pretty much I don't even know how to describe it. It's just, you throw a bunch of people in a room and see what happens. They're in a warehouse and they, it's a shootout. It's like a, it's one long shootout the entire movie. It's not an incredible story, but uh, there's a lot of fun actors in it. Um, again, another Shrekel Copley showing up again. And just everyone in the movie is super enjoyable. And it's just so small and everything's so believable and real. There's no like CGI, there's, there's, it's no sci-fi elements, it's just a, realistic sort of you know movie realism shootout that I think no one heard about this movie. I think if you're not really into film, you probably didn't hear about it, but if you're into action, if you're into kind of more claustrophobic kind of small scale movies, especially when that's an action movie driven a lot by the acting, I think there's something really special here that you should check out. My 2017 favorite movie has got to be Get Out. Um, I think about this movie all the time, saw it in theaters, was skeptical just because of how popular it was right off the bat, and the trailer didn't really grab me. I felt like the movie was going to be too obvious with its message. And while it is very obvious with its message, I didn't expect the message to be so nuanced. It, it hits you over the head with its message, like what it's wanting to say, but the message itself is really well thought out. Um, especially I like this movie because it's a first time director, Jordan Peele, who had done stuff before with a lot of television, written a movie, and started a movie uh, with Keanu. This was his first directorial effort, and he really just brought it, man. Um, and as an amateur filmmaker myself, I really respected that, that someone in their first movie could just come out and make such an incredible film that's so smart and demands to be rewatched over and over. There's so much to catch over and over, and he really wrote a really strong screenplay, and it's funny, and it's suspenseful, and it's scary, and it's got a really good idea, and it's an idea that is really out there, but doesn't require that much explanation. It's something that if you explained it too much, it would not be good. If you under-explained it, that the audience would get lost, so I think it's this really good middle ground and it's very small and it's mostly one location with a lot of great performances and it looks awesome. Got nominated for Oscars, which it definitely deserved. And I just, I, it's a movie that anytime someone wants to watch it, 
or if I need to show it to him, I will gladly watch it over and over again just because of how special it is. And I don't think I've ever seen another movie like this that, that demands to be rewatched over and over. Something like Hot Fuzz, maybe. But yeah, that is my favorite movie of 2017. Let's move on. We're getting almost done to 2018. My other overlooked recommendation, I forgot what it is, being Valerian. Anyways, 